You need a torque security bit. It's hollow in the center. This is a T10. There's four screws. Once those are out, you can separate the pack and the, this top separates from both halves. That half comes off and this one, sometimes they have a little bit of glue in them and that's your pack. I reassembled this whole battery pack, ran it in my lawnmower, then I've taken it out and disassembled it again because I wanted to test the battery after it's been fully used. And when I do that, the button still gives me, see I'm getting three bars there. Before it was two, but it quits running. Well, I wanted to test and see what was going on with the battery pack with the individual cells again. Remember, these two right here were our low ones. They were like 3.6, where the rest were 4.09 or 4.1. So now I'm going to test it again, 3.441, and then the rest of these are all in the 386 range. So all these and all these are 386, and this is 344. Your battery is only as good as your weakest cells, and so when it gets down to that, it just says, oh, battery's done. When in reality, the lights say, no, I've got more charge. What I'm going to do is take these two guys out. Got these batteries from 18650 Battery Store. These are LG batteries and they're a very specific battery. You have to get the exact uh, discharge rate and size battery, you can't mix and match. Ideally, I wanted to get LG batteries or Samsung batteries, which are nearly identical, but they didn't have them and they've been out for a while. I got tired of waiting. So I got these knockoffs. They're like, oh, they were like $1.99 a piece, which is super cheap rather than maybe $5 for these individually. I figured I'd try these knockoffs and see if they'll work or at least get me by for some time. And so it's a bit of a learning process, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. And so what I'm gonna do is take off these screws here to remove this uh, board. What I'm trying to get at, right underneath here, you see these holes? Inside those holes are screws, and these two are screwed together. And so what I wanna do is slide this battery out. I think that's a long Phillips, so I'll have to go get a Phillips. All right, so it feels like there's a, feels like the two outside ones have screws in them. Probably just helps with vibration. Oh, great, it wants to come off this way. Oh yeah, okay, I can see a, there's a metal tab that's connecting each of these batteries. Then what we wanna do is take off all these wires. Oh, that's fun. Basically just look, doing a quick look at this. It's always good to be able to go back in video and see how it's all put together. Well, this is what I was trying to not have to deal with. That wire there and that wire there, the gray and the white, go to that spot right there and that spot right there. And if I desolder these two and th these two right here, this black one, black one and that one, then the pack will come apart. So that's what we'll do. Just plastic covering for the tops of the batteries. I'll leave a link in the description below. So this is just a simple hobbyist, 80 watt uh, soldering iron, some uh, rosin filled solder, basic stuff. All right, so this got our soldering iron and heated up pretty quickly. And so now this is kind of a, need three arms to do this task. Okay, I'm gonna just lift up on this wire a little bit while I heat up the solder. There we go. I've only got it 350 degrees, the soldering iron. It can go up to 480, but just trying to go slow. These uh, batteries don't like a lot of heat. There we go. So be sure and wear your safety goggles because when this lets go, you don't want to get splashed by it. There we go. And yeah, that wire is pretty, pretty toasty. Yep, there we go. That opens up the pack. And there I can see the two screws that didn't come out, but they detached from here. All right, so we got to take all the 
nickel tabs off of this side so I can get this part of the pack off. And then I'm gonna take off those two tabs right there so I can remove those two cells. Okay, now this is a positive and this is a negative. And the positive is a smaller head, but underneath this, this edge here is the case underneath that wrapper. And so I don't wanna nick that, be touching the negative case and the positive at the same time and short the battery out. So I've gotta be really, really careful about this. Just go about it ever so slowly. Once I get that. All right, so what I was trying to do there is just bend, bend that little tab up in the air so I can get players on it. Okay, I was able to pull those, those tabs off. Do the same thing in this one. Yeah, once you get part of it up, the rest is a lot easier. Yep, smoke that battery. All right, so this one is a tab. This one had the big wire to it, and it's just a bent over tab like that. So I just have to remove this one tab right here. Okay. Bend that back. Let me get this top off here. Okay. These are the guys that we want gone. And we'll replace them with our new ones. We'll keep those for later use. Maybe those can just be charged up and balanced out, but if not, if you know anything about that, let me know in the comments because uh, this is a learning experience for me, if you haven't guessed. So now, let's take our new ones. Okay, now these guys here, I want to get close to the same charge as these have. 387, 3868, 3864, 384. So what I have is a little charger. And so we're gonna go ahead and put them in the charger and get it up to about that. So it started at 359 and they're increasing ever so slowly. I did it manually kind of start and stop till we got to a good stopping place so that there's a, so they're balanced as close as possible. And so 388 and 388. All right, so I'm just gonna scuff the, scuff the end of the battery up here a bit with some 80 grit sandpaper. So they're very close, they're maybe a little, not, a little higher than these, but that's gonna be fine. Now we put them into the pack. Negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So th that's super important. These have to be put in the right way or you ruin your whole battery or cause a, a fire or explosion. Okay, so now we just gotta go ahead and solder them in and we'll start from the back first. Okay, I decided to do this little strip first because that's a big wire and it takes a good amount of heat and rather than transfer that to the battery here, we're just gonna do this first. All right, so I just pre-tinned the ends of the batteries there, just the little dab, being real careful on the positive ends not to overflow it on, and cause a short. All right, I'm gonna to try to use these. I flattened these old tabs out, so I'm gonna to try to reuse them. All right, so we got all those on. All that's left are these smaller wires. Okay, before I start attaching these wires, I'm gonna go ahead and put this board back where it belongs because everything's starting to pull on the wires now. So there's a hole there and a hole there. We'll just line those back up. Start with this gray wire. And now the white wire. Okay. 
Okay. And then this one goes over here. Yeah, it feels precarious, but they're in, that's good and tight. So snap these wires in to their harness clips. Oh, temperature sensor. That's the last one. That was, yeah. We're just going to put a dab of Gorilla Glue here. This is a limit of 200 degrees. So hopefully that'll be okay. All right, so we can go ahead and press the button here. We got three lights, which is more than what we started with. Oh, I forgot to tighten from this side. Cover on it. I think we can go ahead and put it into its case now because this, this has a flat back. Okay, and this one has the nubs that go in between the, right here, these curved nubs. You just wanna make sure the top lines up. All right, it was a bit of a wrestling match, but I finally got it together. So now all I gotta do is put in our long security screws. There's four of them, one for each hole here in the corners. They go in with this. This is a T10 security bit. All right, so she's all back together. And yeah, it did take a little bit of effort, but I think we're finally there. So now the test is if she charges. All right, so it's blinking. So we'll just leave it there and see how long it takes to fully charge. And then we'll give her a, a full test run. Okay, so here are the results. Got it all put back together. It charged to 40.98 volts, which was uh, probably brand new. It would have charged closer to 42, but still that's a really good number. And it ran for about 17, 17 and a half minutes. Uh, when I, my, the very first time I used the lawnmower, it ran for 24 minutes. This means the battery is somewhere around 70%. But before I did this rebuild, I was only getting six minutes out of it. So granted, the other cells in the battery, the 18 originals, are four, going on four years old. And we have the two new ones. After running it for the 17 minutes, it's at 30, what was it there? 35.58. And that brings it down to one bar. And then just quit running at that point. You know, getting 17 minutes out of it as opposed to six minutes is a, is a huge deal for me because this cost five bucks. Five, a brand new battery is $149. So $5 versus 149 you, you decide for me all day long. It really has inspired me to go ahead and get 10 more of these batteries, or I guess 12 more of these batteries and do a complete rebuild with all brand new cells and see how that does. You know, for basically what I got these four delivered was five bucks for a two pack. 20 of them would cost me 50 bucks. Still a third of the price for a brand new battery setup. Well worth it in my book. We're back in business. Kind of breathe new life into that battery. What's gonna come up next is my old dead DeWalt battery. Looks like if I can fix that one, I can fix this one. And the reality is you can save a whole ton of money without having to go to the store and buying a brand spanking new battery. Basically this whole process that I've been doing is one of uh, a bit of a learning curve. And I got to say, after never having done this before, it worked out really easily. If you watch any of our videos, you know, we're all about saving money. Hope this saves you some. Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.